What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J. For those who are new here, it has been a while since I made a video like this, but I think this video is not only one of the most important videos that I could create that would help you in the long run, at least in terms of picking the right major and then going into the right career or field of study, but there's this huge misconception about majoring in computer science and I want to help unravel maybe why that is and what they don't tell you about the major. First thing to remember is that this is not IT. This is not IT related at all. Those are two separate fields that are very, very different. At my college, IT related stuff was in the communications department, whereas computer science was in the engineering department. So throw that one out of, out of your head. If anyone tells you that it's IT, just ignore them. But the next thing is that, <laughs> the more important thing is that you're not gonna be programming apps and websites. You will learn how to do that because you're gonna be getting the basic programming knowledge to be able to program with really any language because when you major in computer science, you're gonna be learning the fundamentals and usually computer science majors learn how to program in languages like Java and C++ first because those are like foundation languages and you can literally build anything with those languages. That's a huge like 10,000 foot view. Like here's an example. If you were programming in a more enterprise language like C Sharp, like let's say you were a software developer at you know a bank or a healthcare company and you needed to create some sort of application that keeps track of users, you would create an observable list. You could create an observable list. And what you would do is you would import that list library into your file and then you would be able to use that list You'll be able to declare an object of type list. But in C++ and Java, specifically as a computer science major, you're gonna be building that list structure that software developers declare, if that makes any sense. I know I just nerded out on that last example and I hope it makes sense. But basically, you're gonna be building those structure, those data structures and using object-oriented programming to build pro programming projects to become a more efficient computer scientist so you can solve the world's problems once you get out into the field. As much as I love JavaScript and HTML and CSS, knowing those languages are great, but they're nowhere near as complex as building algorithms in C++ or building machine learning with random force in Python. And I noticed as I progressed in my career that a lot of the um, underclassmen who came in to learn computer science were expecting something else. They were expecting a more industry design program, which is something that I think universities and colleges should offer. However, if you wanna maximize your career, um, computer science is the way to go. Um, software engineering is great. I definitely think you're gonna have an amazing career doing that. But with computer science, you open up a lot of doors for yourself outside of the software development, software engineering world. You open up the you know technical consultant world. You open up the data science world and data analyst world because you know computer science and you understand greedy algorithms and you'll learn languages like Python and how to use machine learning and apply that to real world situations. And the further I got along in my career, as in more than likely like just senior year, I started appreciating the things that I learned. And now that I'm out of college, I've been out of college for a little over a year and a half now, I really appreciate some of those programming classes that I took, I appreciate the curriculum that I took because when I do JavaScript and like HTML and CSS and C Sharp, it's, it's not that difficult and that's because I learned the basics in college. 
I will say that computer science is a difficult major. Um, you don't have to have any programming experience before you start your major. But one thing I recommend you doing um, before you go to school is to just learn the basics. Learn about if statements, learn about loops, learn about functions, learn about file structure, learn about how to use IDEs. Also, once you're on campus, I would, before you um, schedule your classes, I would definitely reach out to someone in the computer science department and ask them, is there like an intro to the intro class? Because sometimes those introductory classes can be quite difficult. big misconception that you're going to be behind a computer screen all the time and you don't want to be. I don't want to be behind a computer screen all the time either, but I've also learned that really no matter what you major in or what field of study you're in, you're going to be behind a computer screen. Basically this video is to help you learn more about computer science outside of just becoming a programmer because it's so much bigger than that. Honestly, a lot of my frustrations were outside of the programming realm, as in taking, you know, chemistry and plant bio. Not that plant bio was really hard. Okay, the second part of plant bio was kind of difficult, but I wanted to focus more on becoming a better um, computer scientist, but I had to learn um, other things to become a more real, well-rounded student. I think that varies based on what type of university you go to. I went to a liberal arts school, so maybe that was the reason, or no, actually, I think it was because my degree was is ABET accredited, so you have to take a certain amount of science and a certain amount of mathematics. So you will be taking a lot of math. Keep that in mind. I know people ask, do you have to be good at math? I don't know what being good at math means. If you work hard and you're disciplined and you stay focused, then yes, you can be successful and you can pass all your math classes. I don't find myself the greatest mathematician at all. Um, I think I'm pretty good at math. Honestly, I started at like level one, which was like one level below where most students start started and I still was able to pass. So if you work hard in office hours and building those relationships with your professors, you'll be successful. But in terms of like the math part, you're gonna have to pass Calc 1 and Calc 2. And by pass, I don't mean a D minus. I mean, you're gonna need a C to pass those courses. You're also gonna need to take linear algebra. You're gonna be taking discrete mathematics, which is a whole nother way of thinking about using math. Thank you to PowerAd for sponsoring this video and for sending me the PowerAd Energy Cell 2 10,000 portable charger along with the PowerAd Energy 15,000 compact portable charger. The more I travel and use my phone for not only social media consumption but also for productivity along with using more wireless devices, the more I find myself needing a powerful portable charger. And that's what you get with the Energy Cell 10,000 and 15,000. Both of these portable chargers are compatible with the latest smartphones from Apple, Samsung, and and Google. The amazingly small Energy Cell 10,000 can charge devices with up to 18 watts of power via USB-C port, which is over three times more the power than a standard charger has. A cool feature about this charger is that it is the same premium battery cells as the Tesla Model 3. The larger cell 15,000 compact charger has been my favorite of the two because it has the dual USB type A ports so you can charge multiple devices at once. This huge capacity portable charger can charge an iPhone 11 up to 3.8 times, nearly three times for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and can charge other tablet devices. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope this was helpful. Like this video if you found it helpful. Share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. Comment down below your thoughts. And if you wanna see more videos like this, more content like this, it was actually cool to actually go out and walk and talk and shoot some B-roll, but also deliver information that I think might benefit you all. 
But as always, have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed rest of your week and I'll see you all soon. Peace. Oh wait, don't forget to subscribe. Now the video's over. <laughs>